David Kamatoy, the most talented Filipino comic juggler, rock star, radio personality, hit man you're ever going to meet. Okay, he's not a rock star. Say hello to my little friend, David Kamatoy. Hi everybody, once again David Kamatoy here at the San Diego Comic Con and oddly enough, I bumped into the magical Mr. Stephen Banks. Stephen Banks just happens to be the head writer for that wonderfully silly show, Spongebob. <laughs> That's very true. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for doing this little interview with us. I You're really welcome. appreciate it. So tell us, uh, tell us, you know, obviously it's SpongeBob, but you were just saying, now this is how, this is uh, the reason I have this, he's holding a ukulele, and the reason this whole interview happened was that I was strolling through and I said, is that a ukulele? <laughs> and is actually his son said, yes it is. Uh, so Steve, tell us a little bit about your experience with SpongeBob. You actually joined the crew about five years ago, about right? About five years ago. Uh, Go SpongeBob. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've been head writer for about five years, and uh, I love it. I was a big fan of the show before, and we're just uh, cranking out those shows from Bikini Bottom, and uh, it's uh, it's it's been a good run. It's still going well. We've had Johnny Depp do the voice recently. Oh Bowie really? Did a voice. Oh my so God! We get some biggies. And uh, bottom line, it's just a funny show. You know, the thing, as we were saying, you know, before we turned on the camera, but the thing about SpongeBob SquarePants for me is the fact that, uh, A, I, I, I can't believe how funny the show is, but also, whenever I see people when they mention SpongeBob, everyone always has the same comment. Have you watched it? Hold on a second. They always have the same comment. They say, have you watched that show? It's really funny. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's because what we try to do, the, our storyboard artists, the writers, everybody, is make stuff that we think is funny and make us laugh. We're not trying to say, well, gee, how do we appeal to an eight-year-old kid or how do we appeal to this or a college kid? It's just, let's do something we think funny and for 10 years it's worked. And you know, right now, we were talking, we were having a discussion about this earlier in reference to animation in general, mm -hmm. but I really believe that that goes back to the whole Warner Brothers mentality, which was both, you know, stuff that made the writers laugh, something right, for adults, right. something for kids. And I think one of the things that we're seeing right now in the industry is that uh, there's almost, because we have adult type cartoons, like right. Family Guy, which right. I love. I mean, I love, I, we love those shows, Seth and the gang. Um, we love those shows, but one of the things with that is that there's a gap that's missing between, uh, there's a lot of cartoons that we're seeing made just for kids. Right, right. And I think Spongebob is not one of those shows. No, no, it works. I mean, college, kids love it, adults, I mean, I like it. And I'm older than college. Uh, <laughs> you are? Yeah, it is. It's, it's that thing that just, and it's, and it's weird because it's not, and it's not like, there's not like sexual innuendos, there's not like, Pop culture references. Sure. Uh, yeah. But again, that was Bugs. I mean, that was that's true. Yeah, but there's a little more adult. And those are really for adults. Yeah, they that's were true. shown that's in true. theaters with other with, stuff. Yeah, that's and true. Wise that's guy, true. That's kind true. Of, that's true. You know, it's 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 like he's like a stand Bugs like a stand up comedian. Absolutely. Um, but of course, kids love all the zaniness, the physical action, and so forth. But. Uh, we're just trying to make a good show. So talk to us about what's your experience here at the San Diego Comic Con. Oh, this is the third time I've been here. Uh, it's a blast. I love to see people who are really passionate about, about things, who are fans, who are fanatics, and just love it and come and are collecting stuff and buying stuff and looking at stuff and then dressing up. I mean, it's great to just... Uh, there's this, you know, people can dress as almost anything they want to be, and they post for pictures. Oh, it's crazy, and isn't it? It's a blast. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. My that's my favorite thing. We're here at Masquerade tonight. Is just to walk around and look at the people in the outfits, and some have incredible detail of what they'll go to, and you look over and see an amazing transformer outfit, then you look over and they're always like these sexy Disney heroines. We just saw those, the princesses, right, right, who right. were very revealing. Those aren't the ones they used in the original movie. No, but... <laughs> but it's nice to look at. Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, and you'll see just all sorts of... And some I don't even know what they are. I've heard the new steampunk kind of movie. Oh, I know. Things. I'm very confused by that, but I it's huge. I thought it was Steam Boy, and it was something else, kind of Arthur Conan Doyle, and it's kind of H.G. Well, but it's cool. It's a great yeah. look. Um, but I thought it was from a specific movie, and I guess it isn't. So I'm learning. But no, it's a blast to come here and try to see the True Blood people, but they were gone. I saw the back of Bill. Um, oh my God! So let's let's go there. I think that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, as a uh, yeah, fan, yeah. talk to us about you know what are some of the things that you're watching? What is Stephen Banks Steve watching? Stephen Banks watch. Stephen Banks is watching True Blood. I think I think True Blood is true. brilliant show. I'll do Stunning. my impersonation. Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the guys that SpongeBob are fans of True Blood. I watch True Blood. Still love The Simpsons. Um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of new stuff that I watch now. Uh, Mad Men I like. Um, 
I like that whole genre. I mean, I love the the style of the '60s. I just yeah, yeah. always that period is always stuck in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. Aesthetically, I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a cool thing, and uh, it's yeah. What else do I watch? Trying to think. Some old stuff. Trailer That's Park right. Boys. These are older, but Trailer Park Boys I love. Uh, uh, Strangers with Candy. Okay. Okay. Candy. That these show's older odd. Shows. <laughs> oh, what a that show is odd. I but I show. understand. I mean, I watch it and go, it's sort of odd, but it's brilliant too. It's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, that show, Black know. Adder, not the first season, but the other one subsequent. Uh, but yeah, no, you. you yeah, and Black Adder was really my introduction to Rowan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nut of Rowan oh, yeah. and the brilliancy of. In fact, there, sort of we're doing we're doing sort of a nod by holding one camera, but we've been been doing this actually for years but so anyway what we're gonna do we're gonna be right back with uh, once again the head writer excuse me is that that is correct sure, yeah, yeah, the head writer right. of SpongeBob Stephen Banks we're gonna be right back and we're gonna hear a little ukulele from Stephen Banks and you're here with airgorilla.com I'm here with airgorilla.com airgorilla.com going bananas for discount travel it's fine. Do it again, but remember, it's not a plural. It's airgorilla.com. Airgorilla.com. Okay. Airgorillas.com. Um, going bananas for discount travel. Airgorillas.com. Going bananas for discount travel. Singular. One more time, please. Did I say airgorillas.com? Yeah. I really and you specifically yeah, yeah. said not yeah. yeah. Airgorillas.com. <laughs> Sorry. You damn dirty apes! All right, mate. Check out airgorilla.com for the best deals on air travel on the web. Once again, welcome back to DavidCommentary.com. On behalf of Geek Roundtable, we're here at the San Diego Comic Con, and behind me is the head writer for SpongeBob SquarePants. That's right, Stephen Banks. We met, oddly, because he was holding, actually his son was holding a ukulele. And right now, we'd like to share a little ukulele tune with you from the San Diego Comic Con. Steven, oh, I remember the words. F is for fun, you do fun together. U is for you and me. N is for I don't know all the words to the SpongeBob song because they wrote that in the seasons when I wasn't there. Uh, and I can't do the SpongeBob voice. Sorry, folks. That's but. fine. That's good enough. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Once again, uh, anything you like to say to the fans of SpongeBob? Keep watching the show. Very cool. Hey, here's one question. Yep. On our show, we always talk about successful traits. In other words, successful traits for entrepreneurs, entertainers, mm -hmm. people in the business. Uh, obviously, where you've gotten and where we all go takes traits. It takes something that you have to turn up the volume to to say, I needed to learn to do that in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. So my question for you, Stephen Banks, is what was that one trait? Uh, don't give up. There you go. Perfect. Don't give up. Once again, Stephen Banks, head writer for SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm David Commentoy. Bye. Bye. Join the email list at davidcommentoy.com for all the best tips, downloads, free reports, and beauty tips. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> beauty tips.